Hi everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for yoga. And in our busy, busy lives, we often think that we need to do more and get more accomplished than we are already. But today's practice is about recognizing when it's time to do less, to pare back, to tune into our bodies and to give ourselves that deep relaxation. So we'll be moving for the first half of the class, gently, slowly, attuning ourselves to the language of the body. And then we're gonna be coming into more restorative poses to rest and restore. So we start, um, we start again at the end of our practice, renewed. Because of the restorative part of the class, I've got a whole bunch of props for you. And you can go ahead and listen to this, pause it, and go and gather what it is that you need. I've got two yoga blocks here. Now, books, oops, books wrapped in a towel are just as good as these, so um, I'm not expecting you to have yoga blocks. I've got a folded blanket here. I've got a pillow, maybe something off your bed or even a couch cushion. And I've got a bolster here, it's a yoga bolster. It's about the length of my torso. Now you can use um, a pillow which is double folded within a, um, whatchamacallit, a pillowcase, that's what I'm talking about. Or two or three towels, um, beach towels rolled up tightly towards each other or anything else you have handy. It does not have to look exactly like this. So you can, um, I'm gonna set those over there and sit on one of the blocks, um, but gather what it is that you need and then let's get into movement. So settling down to a place that you wanna start your practice and this can be seated in a chair. You do not, it does not have to look a particular way. This just happens to be comfortable for me. When you're ready. Take a breath in, all the way to the top of your breath. Exhale, allow your energy to settle as you settle into stillness. Take a few breaths and moments for that to happen. Making any adjustments you need along the way to feel more comfortable. Allow your day or your week to slide away off your shoulders and start to become present in this moment with yourself. Allow all the responsibilities and to-do lists to start to dissolve into the background as you give yourself permission to be here setting aside this time for yourself. And notice with a curiosity if there's judgment there, if there's inner dialogue, if there's any feelings that arise as you allow yourself this time. Soften your gaze, close your eyes if you're comfortable with that if you haven't already. And dive your awareness from your, the room around you, inside the container of your body. Tune out the rest of the world. There's nothing else you need to be doing in this moment. And notice with an honesty how you feel. Be curious, nothing may arise, and that's okay too. Just be with whatever arises, whether it's thoughts, feelings, images. 
Notice if anything's related to the past or the future. And then bring everything back to this moment by noticing the support underneath your body. Notice how your body receives that support. Notice how your body's feeling in this moment, sensations, energy levels, any tightness, tension, discomfort, but notice the ease and the quietness inside different places in your body as well. Notice how it feels to give yourself permission to simply be. And then repeat silently to yourself if you wish, after me. I will treat myself with gentle hands today. I will treat myself with gentle hands today. I will treat myself with gentle hands today. Notice how that lands for you. And notice what that brings up or what it means to you. Again, with no judgment, just with a curiosity. Give yourself all the time for your practice today to notice what arises. And starting to bring your awareness to your breath just as it is, not needing it to change. Draw your awareness to the exhale from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom. And become aware of the natural letting go of the exhale. It has a sense of release to it. Using those exhales to release anything you no longer want releasing thoughts and giving yourself this time simply to be if there's any tension or discomfort use the exhales to dissolve the tension, even 1% with every exhale. Listening to the sound of the exhale from the top all the way down to the bottom of the exhale. from wherever it is that you're seated. I'm gonna come off my block. Hands to your legs in a way that suits you. I'm gonna to start to circle through the spine. 
Use the exhales to really tune in to your body. These movements can be big, can be small, no big deal. Just getting some movement through the spine. Adjust any amount that you need to. Allowing it to be a soothing movement for you. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction. Making the movement intuitive. No right and wrong way for this to be. Focusing on those exhales. Any thoughts that arise, use the exhales to sweep the thoughts away, even if they come right back. Mm -hmm. Coming all the way back to center when you're ready or continue as you need to. And take the right hand back by your hip. If you need to take anything to bring the floor to you, please do. Rooting to rise, that exhale breath. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we're gonna drift that arm up and cross it over towards the left where it can, it comes naturally. Doesn't matter where it is. Inhaling up, exhaling back. Allow the movement to be in time and guided by the breath. you want to, you can start to take the gaze with that movement in your own way. Starting to bring a gentle twist in through the spine. Again, whether you're seated on the floor or a chair, it really does not matter. No right and wrong way for this to be. And whenever that right hand comes back to the right, we'll keep it there and draw it forward. Left hand draws back. Again, bringing the floor to you or um, if you're on a chair, tapping back. This is the exhale. Inhale, drifting up, exhaling, simply tapping to the right side. Waking up through the shoulder, through the arm. A great place to be right here. You can start to take the gaze with that movement as we start to get into the neck. A quality of ease on the breath. This movement can be as big or as small as suits you. Again, remember, treating yourself with gentle hands. More is not better here. Two more. Next time that hand comes back towards the left, we'll keep it there. And back to center. Any other movements you need to release any tension, go ahead. And then we'll come over onto hands and knees. If you wanna stay in your chair for seated cat and cow, please do. Any padding you need underneath your knees, go ahead. And come to an intuitive tabletop. Drawing the belly in, pushing the hands into the earth to lift the back of the heart. Come back to that steady exhale breath. The next exhale, pushing into hands and knees to round the back of the ribs up towards the sky. And on the inhale, the belly drops down as we arch, lifting the gaze. You can do this with a soft gaze or closed eyes, tuning into your body. Noticing how this feels for you. A 
adjusting, adapting things. There's no right and wrong way for this to be. If another movement arises, then go ahead and listen to that. Another two breaths here. Rest if you need to. And staying for the last exhale, unless you're resting, and then coming back to center. Circling through the ribs here. One direction. And again, if this turns into another movement, go ahead and do what it is that you need. Treating yourself with gentle hands. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction when you are ready. Be lazy, move with an ease as much as possible. Coming back to center. And from here, we're just gonna walk the knees back a little so we've got some um, more length underneath us. Then on the inhale, we're gonna draw our heart forward, maybe the hips rest forward, and on the exhale, rounding through the back, hips back towards the heels, inhaling and exhaling, flossing through the hips, getting extension and flexion through the spine. Noticing how this feels in the whole of your body. And through the arms and shoulders, through the hips, the knees, the ankles, and the wrists. Two more. And then we'll take big circles here, but we'll come down to forearms first. So coming forward, taking forearms down, palms can be flat or interlace the hands and we're going to circle here. Any other intuitive movements that arise, please go ahead and do what it is that you need. When you're ready, coming around in the opposite direction. Being gentle with yourself. Coming back to stillness. Knees come in towards each other. Right leg extends, toes to the floor. Waking up the back of that right leg. Option to roll forward and back. Patting that left knee if you need to. We won't be here for very long. Another three breaths here. Last exhale. And the right knee draws in. Pad that if you need to. Left leg extends. And we're rocking forward and back once more. Three more in your own time. Resting if you like. And after this third exhale, bringing the knees in together, keeping them there or taking them a little wider, untucking the toes if they were tucked, hips back towards heels, supported child's pose. Hands, forearms, 
stacked fists, a block, or taking yourself all the way down. Breathing into the back of your body. Focusing on that exhale. Releasing even 1% of tension with every exhale as you feel comfortable. And you can stay in stillness. You can move. Please make this your own. If you want to lengthen through the side of your body, send your fingertips out into tense forearms lifted. And then walk those fingers over towards one side, dropping the opposite hip away from the fingers. Breathing into the side of your body. And then walking the fingers to center and over to the other side, opposite hip shifts away from the fingers. Getting length through the rib cage. Noticing where you feel this. Being gentle with yourself. When you're ready, coming back to center. Three exhale breaths wherever you are. Stay for as long as you like. Or coming up, gathering your props, coming into some more restorative poses. So I've gathered my props around me. And the first thing I'm going to do is take two blocks or whatever are your blocks to the back of my mat. So I'm putting mine kind of like a little chair, one up against the other, but you can equally stack two on top of each other if you've got books. All we want is a ramp, which we're going to place that bolster or whatever it is that you have. So we have this kind of little ramp to come up to. Any um, sensitivity in your hips. You're going to take a folded blanket right up to the base of that bolster or support and sit onto it. Right hip coming up against that bolster, knees to the side. Option to take a pillow here in between your ankles and knees. Some people like that. Some people like the pillow on top of your bolster. You get to choose. From here, I'm going to take my glasses off, resting the hip next to the bolster, hands either side of the bolster, and this is the inhale and the exhale, I'm going to rest down onto that support so your head is supported. And again, if you need a blanket or a pillow underneath that, then go ahead. Once you're down here, adjust yourself. So for a lot of women, um, some adjustments needed through the chest, anything that feels more comfortable for you, go ahead. Option to stay here, option to adjust that top leg so you feel more supported. And again, anything that feels better for you, go ahead. No right and wrong. But once you're sorted, Go ahead, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Take a big breath in all the way to the top of your breath. Exhale as if you're blowing out a soft candle, like a birthday candle. Two more just like that. Or another breath that suits you. And then let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm.
If the hands were facing away from feels uncomfortable, you can bend it in the other direction so it rests down by your hips, softening that back shoulder. Feel the support underneath you. And then when you're ready, allow every exhale to deepen yourself into that support. As if with every exhale, your bones just got a whole lot heavier. Take your awareness into your back body, back of your ribs, back of your heart. And start to notice here the wave of breath. The inhale as the ribs rise up towards the ceiling. The exhale, the letting go. And the relaxation. Every exhale, let go just a little more. And the wave of breath as it waves through your body, the rising, the inhale the softening, the exhale. Noticing where you're placing your attention. And it's a great place to stay right here. If you want to add on and come to the other side, then bringing both hands underneath your shoulders, chin in towards the chest. And one of your next inhales, push into your hands and rise up. I'm taking the knees away from the bolster and then over to the other side. Any adjustments you need and maybe on this side you want extra support under that hip. Maybe this side it feels better to have support underneath your head. Hands either side of the bolster. Adjust as you need to, and you're coming down to rest. Adjusting yourself, making yourself as comfortable as possible. That back hand can come back by the hips if that's more comfortable for you. Take any softness you need. Maybe slide something between your knees and ankles, or slide that top knee back. There is no right and wrong here. I'm coming to rest on the other side, just so you can hear my voice more clearly. And then once you're settled, making any slight adjustments, please taking the time to make yourself even 1% more comfortable. And then when you're ready, take a big breath in all the way to the top of your breath. Three, 
soft breaths out, blowing out that candle. Every exhale, imagine your bones getting heavier. And then let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm. Taking your awareness to the back of your body, the inhale, the rising, the wave of breath. The exhale, the releasing. Allowing tension and tightness to be grounded down into the earth. Treating yourself with gentle hands. There's nothing else you need to figure out. Just moving from breath to breath, from exhale to exhale. This right here is enough. you are. Any tension, any tightness, offer yourself softness with the breath, with releasing, giving yourself permission to let go. great thing is about restorative yoga is that if you're settled there is no need to change and come to another shape you're welcome to stay as you are this is all about finding your peacefulness and staying you would like to find another shape, bringing both hands underneath the shoulders, chin in towards your chest, and on an inhale, rising up. Keeping the bolster as it is, or the option is to use a chair. I'll teach to this first and then I'll teach to the chair. So, taking any softness you need underneath you, keeping a blanket or a towel handy, sitting up to the base of that little slope. Feet coming up on there, taking a blanket, around your ankles and I'm just showing you this 
um, so you can see what we're doing, what I'm doing. You can of course cover your entire leg, but this way you get to see it a little bit. And then we're resting ourselves down. Any support you need underneath your body, go ahead. Great place to be. If this doesn't feel secure or stable for you, you're welcome to put a chair all the way up to um, your thighs and then rest your feet on the chair if that feels more comfortable. So you get to adjust yourself what feels good for you. The bind of the blanket allows your legs to stay comfortable so you don't need to keep any muscles active to keep you supported. Arms come anywhere that feels comfy for you. Eye pillow if you would like to. Once you're settled, take a full breath in. Exhale it out slow and long. Three more just like that. As you slow and steady the breath, slowing and steadying the energy in your body. Allowing thoughts to settle too. And then bringing your breath back to a soft and easy breath. Treating yourself with gentle hands today. Tuning in to how your body feels in this shape. Offering yourself as much comfort as you possibly can. Allow your body to feel that support underneath you, that deep grounding. Offer your body up to that support. And as you rest here, I'll guide you through some breath work, which you may feel like coming along with or not and if not then just tuning out offering with every exhale your body up to the support underneath you notice the inhale and the exhale in your own rhythm Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And we're going to split that exhale into two, not now, but in a moment. So the inhale takes care of itself. We pause at the top briefly at the top of the inhale. Exhale one half, pause. Exhale the other half and then go directly into our natural inhale. So we're simply splitting the exhale in two. And so if you'd like to come along with me on one of your next inhales, we'll breathe in, pause, exhale, half of your breath, pause, exhale the other half of your breath, and then allow the inhale to take care of itself. And go ahead with that breath, two part exhale. Your own rhythm, your own time. If 
notice if that's causing any strain or holding in your body and let that go. So the two part exhale is easy. The pauses are brief and also relaxed. If this breath does not suit you, come back to your own natural rhythm. Otherwise, two part breath, two part exhale. sure that you release any tightness, any tension. And you're welcome to stay here, two part exhale. Or in a moment, not quite yet, we'll do three part exhale. So in a moment, we'll take an inhale, pause at the top briefly, softening any muscles. Exhale, one third, pause. Exhale, another third. Pause, exhale, the rest of the breath out. And so wherever you are, option three part exhale in your own time, three equal parts. even notice that one part of that three-part exhale is more relaxed than the others. And do your best to soften any tension or tightness so each three-part breath is as soft and as relaxed as each other. Notice if any thoughts of doing it right or getting it or getting in the way of allowing yourself that intuitive three part exhale where nothing else is needed. You're welcome to stay here with two or three part exhale. We'll keep the same length of exhale without the pausing. So inhale to the top, brief pause if that suits you, and then long exhale all the way down to the bottom. Same length. Allowing every exhale and to feel this deepening you into more relaxation and tranquility. Welcome to stay just as you are, following that lazy exhale. We'll simply allow the breath to come back to its own natural, easy rhythm, no effort needed. Notice what it feels like. have no agenda, nothing to do, nothing to figure out, simply being. You're 
welcome to stay here for relaxation or if it suits you wherever your legs are start to unbind from a blanket or draw your knees in if they were resting on a chair and give yourself a little hug here the movement or stillness keeping that connectivity to tranquility and guide yourself intuitively here into a place that you would like to finish up your practice and so if you do have that bolster or support option to take it underneath your thighs back of your thighs your knees to rest in relaxation or shavasana or if there's another place you would like to finish up on your side in a recliner on your bed start to allow yourself to gently slowly move to wherever that chosen place is taking any layers you may need eye pillows and as you get settled and to support i will come up to guide you Taking the time, allowing yourself to come to the most comfortable place for you. And taking a full breath in when you're ready. Exhale softly out like a sigh. A few extra breaths like that just to settle yourself into this moment. And allow your breath to come back to its own soft, natural, easy rhythm. your awareness to the support underneath you, all the places your body is supported. And surrender your body down into that support. Melting tension, tightness. Giving yourself permission to really Allow yourself to be held as if you were being held in the palm of a hand. In the palm of a hand of a loved one. something greater that appeals to you. Allow yourself to be held, supported. And taking your awareness to your heart space. And allow a softening and opening to happen at the very center of your chest and heart space, just a crack. And allow it 
to feel expansive. You don't have to do anything. Allow a natural opening to start to wash from the center of your chest and heart space. Out through your torso. Allowing any tightness and barriers you may have built up around the walls of your heart to soften just for this moment. Allowing that softness to ripple out down through your torso and pelvis all the way down your legs. Through your shoulders, all the way down to the tips of your fingers and thumbs. And from your heart space, all the way up through your neck and throat to the crown of your head. So that softness, that openness ripples out through your entire body, inside body. Not side body, back body, front body. Resting in that softness. Allow that softness to also apply to your thoughts and feelings, sensations, I will treat myself with gentle hands today. I will treat myself with gentle hands today. I will treat myself with gentle hands today.
stay here for as long as you like. Tuning my voice out if you wish to stay for longer. For those who would like to finish their practice, either consider staying in this soft, open state, or bring back a sense of zipping yourself back up if that makes you feel more comfortable, drawing the soft openness from the crown of your head, fingertips and toes all the way back up into your heart space. And considering if you would like to allow that heart space to stay open, or any percentage more protected, go ahead and do that. Staying as you are, or taking a big breath in, filling up your entire body. Exhale, releasing and relaxing. Another three breaths, just like that, filling up your body with energy. And exhaling, softening, releasing. To feel more present in your body. As you start to bring movements into your fingers, your toes, maybe taking your head from side to side. And allow those movements to ripple out into your body, your arms, your legs, your torso. Maybe bringing your knees up, washing your knees from side to side or giving them a hug. Rolling to one side or another or staying as you are to finish up. And over the next few breaths, coming to a place where you would like to finish your practice. Rooting down and rising up from wherever you are, hands into a gesture of closing. And take a breath in and on an exhale, settle your chin down towards your chest, any amount, soft gaze or closed eyes. I will treat myself with tender hands today. Noticing what treating yourself with gentle, tender hands means to you for the rest of your day or week ahead. And setting any intentions you would like to, to offer that to yourself more regularly. From my heart to yours, I thank each and every one of you for being with me today. Namaste.